it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with the Goodreads Chooses My Makeup Challenge, which is a booktube challenge about makeup. So I figured I would use it over here on my beauty channel as well. I'm just going to edit it once and put it all together. So you might hear me talking about books a little bit more than normal, but I will have my booktube channel listed down below if you want to check that out as well. If you're also interested in books, we're going to jump into this makeup tutorial that is based off of a book cover on Goodreads. This challenge was created by Ola from Ola Quinn. I will have her listed down below. She is coming up with some really great, really creative videos lately, and I just loved this one. It's a little bit of a spin on the Nikki tutorials where she has like Google pick her makeup, and then Ola kind of revamped it for Goodreads. What you do is you put your initials, first and last, into Goodreads, and you see what book comes up first. And then when you go to that book, you can look through all of the different editions, if there are different editions, pick some covers, that really inspire you and then you go off of that cover inspiration and do a makeup look. So that's what we're gonna do today. But what I did was I went ahead and plugged in my initials into Goodreads and I'm going to insert the clip here of the things that I found. All right guys, sorry if you can hear my computer just like struggling to survive, but we are gonna go up here and put in my initials, which are J and Z and we get this book, which is by Agatha Christie in a language that I don't know, but we're gonna go down here because there's not a whole lot of color here to work with and see if there's other editions, and there definitely are. 537 of them, and it's called And Then There Were None, and I love this cover. We're gonna open that in another link because there's a whole bunch of colors. This one is gorgeous. Look at that teal and like creamy color. Open that up. I love this. Look at that teal with like the brownie orange. Holy shit though. Nope, nope, moving on. I'm afraid of the blues. This teal and like ivory is so pretty though. Oh, I like this one. This is like a darker teal and like slate gray kind of a color. I'll open that one too. Pervasively, this teal color keeps coming back, though. Um, so the teal is on a lot of them. I feel like I'm not getting away from the teal. I'm going to pull this one, because maybe that could be like a lip color. This thing has got this kind of like cream and then the teal. Then we have this one. I feel like this is going to be the one that I go off of, because we have like a brown color. Let's enlarge this cover. This kind of brown, we have the teal, we have this greeny color, a black, this red. This kind of, I think, covers everything. So this is the cover we're going to use. Let's see what I can do with this. So as you can see, it is an Agatha Christie book with a ton of different title names and a ton of different covers. The one that I picked, I will put up right here. And what I thought was brown is actually like a purpley maroon color for the uh, word and. And then there's like a bluish teal for then. And then there's like a brown smoky gray kind of a color for there. And then were is a green color and none is this like orangey red color. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is not a tutorial. This is just me kind of like using these colors. So what I've decided to do is use this color for that kind of burgundy brown. And this is Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. And then for the tealish blue, I'm going to be using Peacock by Makeup Geek. So this is like a pretty interesting color combo. I don't know how that's going to work out. And then for green, I'm actually going to get into my Soph X, um, the Makeup Revolution collab with Soph, does nails, and I'm going to use this green color right in here. See that green? It's pretty spot on to that cover, and that is called Pine Tree. So this one right here is Pine Tree. Let me swatch these for you. Pine Tree for the green. Don't know what I'm doing with these. And I have Cherry Cola for that maroony brown. So those are the colors that I'm working with. I am so scared. And then the orangey red, I might wait and pull in with my lip. Or maybe on the eyes a little bit. I do have like this burgundy color down here. I also have like a little bit of a shimmery red in this palette. So we'll see what I come up with. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do like a green lid with the burgundy through the outer V. And maybe I'll pull in like one of the redder colors for like a crease color 
and do a green burgundy red eye with like a blue lower lash line. I am so nervous. So I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer, grab a couple other products because I need some like base things like my eye primers and things. I'll take you through the whole steps. We're gonna go through the process guys. I'm, who knows what I'm gonna look like. I do not have a makeup filter lens on this or a filter on this at all. I just got back from my sister's bachelor bachelorette weekend and it was so much fun. I got so much sun. And if you're wondering why it sounds like I've been like a lifelong smoker, it's because I was screaming so much at our beer Olympics that we had. I lost my voice just laughing and talking and like cheering on my, my Olympic team. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, like a skin tone color powder and just set my makeup. The problem with this is that every single, like all my makeup that I have right now, so like nothing quite color matches me right. Like normally, this would set my makeup and it would be like no problem. And now it looks ridiculously light. I'm gonna pick up a crease color and start off with this. This is Tuscany by Coastal Sense. This looks so much darker than it really is. It's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. And I've got my hand down on that brush really far. I think this is pulling too orange and not enough red. So I think I'm gonna take something from this Soph and Makeup Revolution and add that on top. This color right here and this color mixed, we'll see, that's pretty red. Kinda just looks like weirdly pink. All right, so I'm gonna start with the darkest color. I don't know why, just cause I kinda feel like it. I'm gonna pull from that maroon color, that cherry cola, and we're gonna see how this does over here. Like that is kinda spot on to that color from the cover, a little bit of like a purpley red color. Continue to build up this outer corner. I don't hate that. I do my eyes first because I don't do a ton on my face. Honestly, I'm still so dehydrated from this past weekend that my skin is a little pissy. I have such limited eyelid space anyway with my tiny little eyes and hooded eyes that I kind of get screwed anyway. I'm gonna use the tiniest touch of this, this stuff that I usually use under my eyes on the inner part of my eyelid. This is not a cut crease situation. I'm gonna use a little flat brush. This is just an e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm gonna take some of that green on this bad boy that's shedding and pack it down on my eye. I use my finger actually to pack a little bit more on and I'm gonna go back in and blend <laughs> with that cocoa or the cola, cherry cola. Not a color I would have worn together probably. It's not supposed to be, right? It's not called the Goodreads does my everyday wearable makeup. It's just the Goodreads does my makeup. So I'm gonna go back into this cherry cola color and blend that edge. And then I'll come back in with the green and blend it again until I'm happy with it. It's making my eyes pull. I don't know about in this light, but it's making my eyes pull way more green than they, I mean my eyes pull green sometimes, but not often. That's so much color. That's what we're working with right now. I'm gonna use this luminizing primer. This is the Becca Beck like priming filter. So then I'm going to set that with this, which is not the Too Faced bronzer. This is the ambient lighting palette. This is all that's left of it. And I'm gonna leave the under eye area alone for right now because I am gonna put a little something there. The funny thing is, is that this was like the bronzer, the quote unquote bronzer from that palette. And it's so light now that it's just a face powder. Cause I just want a little something and then I'll set that. I'm gonna use this little Smashbox contour palette and I'm gonna use the banana. I'm gonna set underneath. Oh, that's light. I don't know what this story is. If you guys have read this story or you know what this story is, definitely let me know because I got nothing on it. It had, the version that came up was definitely in another language. I don't know what language it was. Some pretty culturally inappropriate titles. I'm assuming it was just like an older book that went by a lot of different names or just in different regions. Went by different names. Who really knows? I don't. A little bronzer. So I'm gonna use the bronzer from this as well in the middle of this palette. I got nothing but I feel like I'm so stinking bronze already. I don't know how much this is really gonna do. 
that's okay. I'm trying to be gentle to my skin. I'm not trying to wear too much right now. Becca Jacqueline Hill collab, and I'm gonna use this Amaretto. I don't know if it's really gonna show on me. It's just very bronzy, which is fine. I just cleaned this brush and I feel like it's a little stiff. It's cute. It's nice. I might top it with a little bit of the pomple mousse, which is just a little pinky with like a golden reflect. Yeah, that works. We're good. Palette in here, I'm going to use this eyeshadow, which is actually Starry Eyes by Makeup Geek. And I can use this as a highlighter right now. Most days, not as much. But right now, that totally works as a highlighter. And then I think I'm going to pull a little bit of that green on the lower lash line before I pull in the, the blue. Hi guys, I am back. Um, my camera actually needed a little bit of time to cool off, so I did my eyebrows and I added mascara to the top lashes, but that is it. So I'm gonna go behind me really quick because I forgot to pull out my box of lipstick because I have not picked a color yet. Before we do any of that, we've got to take the lower lash line and we've got to fix this thing. So I'm gonna bring you in closer. So I already did put a little bit of this maroon color, this uh, coat, Cherry Cola, and I put a little bit of it out here, and I added a little green to the inner corners. I'm gonna use this same brush, dip into Peacock, and hope I don't mess this entire thing up, because so far, like, I don't hate it on the little eyeliner brush. You can definitely see the blue on there. I'm gonna bring it in. Let me do the other side. We're gonna figure out the lips once I get my lower mascara on. So I've been using, on the top, I used the False Lashes Mascara from Essence. It's fine. I'm thinking to go for something a little bit more orange. It's way too red. I think this might be my closest to the word none. So here's the lipstick, and then here's the picture. I think we're going with this, which is Project Chimps by Kat Von D. So let's see what this ends up looking like. I, guys, I'm nervous. My lips are so oddly shaped, I swear to you. I'm gonna do one more layer just to try to get this a little darker. And I think that's it. I'm gonna push you out a little bit further again because this is still very close to my face hole. And uh, we'll wrap this up. Do a little setting spray because I'm not doing enough already. This is my completed look for And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. And um, I don't hate it. Like I actually like this enough to go and film other videos without looking too crazy or being too crazy out of the box. Let me know what you guys think. If you thought that I should have done a different color cover, if you think that I played off of these colors really well. Again, this is my source inspiration right here. And a huge thank you to Ola Quinn for coming up with this great idea. I love this play on the whole like something picks my makeup trend. And I had a lot of fun with this. So maybe I will try this again. I'm going to find other ways to do this another way because I had a lot of fun with this one. So if you liked this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.